sharp. And so I sat down and this is what I learned. This is the guitar version of that vocal line. So one, two, three. <laughs> So now I really want to work on some things that are going to help you play more musically, especially with your soloing. Uh, one thing that really helps guitar players play musically is phrasing. Um, you don't need a lot of technique or notes to phrase well. You just need a good sense of time and a good sense of almost drama, your musical drama. Some people seem to have this intuitively. I don't know if I do because <laughs> I've, I've played fast a lot of my life to avoid it. But as I slow down, uh, it becomes obvious that I need to insert better phrasing to make the slower playing sound cool and sound powerful. Um, so I've been working on that a lot lately, and one of the techniques that I have is to simulate a guitar jam just with one person. And if you have somebody to jam with, that helps even more. But I'm going to do it right now just by myself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be me here, and I'm going to play a solo in this kind of this kind of groove. <laughs> And then I'll go over here, I'm in C minor by the way, and this will be the other guitar player answering back. And what I want you to listen for as I play, I'm just going to improvise, but the end of each line is going to be the cue for, for what the next guy should start with. So in other words, my ending is his beginning. And let me try to demonstrate that now with uh, going back and forth. And again, make sure you listen with your ears to the ending of the line and the beginning of the line, because they're either going to be the same or very close to one another. So here we go. One, two, and C minor. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So I hope you get the idea of what I was doing there by listening. Um, now, of course, if you're playing with another guitar player or really any other musician, that's, that really takes the load off your brain. Because instead of sitting there waiting for them to finish, thinking through your whole vocabulary of what, what am I going to play next, what am I going to play next, you can relax, you can listen to them, and whatever they play last, just play that and, you know, to start off. And, and it makes almost more of a, it makes a conversation more than a battle. You know, it's, it's, you're not really like battling like, I've got these licks and I've got these licks. You know, instead you're, you're conversing, you're, you know, the, the two things are building together and it really feels good. So please try that with another guitar player or if you can't find anybody, you can even do it with yourself and it will help your solos really connect, stay together, feel good and phrase better. It's time for some fast picking. And my goal today is to not only pick fast, but to find a way to get into it and out of it smoothly. Uh, 
Otherwise, you can't use it in your song. So uh, I'm going to give you an exercise that's going to allow you to do some, uh, first of all, the ending of a fast pick lick. Uh, let me show you the lick first. It's very simple. It goes like this. And I'm using uh, some notes out of the A blues scale. Picking every note, beginning with an upstroke. Now, once we get locked into this, this lick, we've got to find a way to get out of it. So what I want to do, I want to do it maybe that many times. That's, I think, three times, and then the last one leads to a bend. So that's the way we can get out. It's a nice controlled end. Let's try it up here too, the same exact lick but on the 8th fret. And the same kind of bend, and we'll put them together. And let's add one more up here in the 12th fret. This one isn't chromatic, more like a natural minor sound. I'm going to end that with a bend as well. So let's put all those three together and, you know, I'll, I'll count it off and try to hear how they're in time with, uh, and I can escape from each one. So one, two, <laughs> Now this time I'm going to play it again, but I'm going to do even shorter spaces. So I'll go like a... that to end it. So let's try that. Uh, I'll do it a little slower. 